All right, folks, uh, I just wanted to show you around of the boat. I installed one of the Chinese diesel heaters um, that you can find on Amazon. There's about $150 to $160. Um, the reason I'm making this video is I didn't find a whole lot of them when I went to go do the install on my Hughes Craft boat. Um, so I wanted to just kind of walk you through what I did to get it in um, so that if you're trying to put one in the future, you can see what you're doing. Um, so I didn't film the install because I don't have a good uh, hands-free camera. Uh, so I'm just shooting this after the fact so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, so I'll take you to the inside of the deck here. Um, here's my back deck um, where I started out um, was going inside of my swim deck area and installing my fuel tank here. Um, I put a couple um, little holders down here so that I could secure it in place and that it wouldn't move around. Um, if you look back here behind my battery group, sorry, it's kind of a mess, but there you see the little filter here and then up behind my main switch, you can see my solenoid. Um, what I did um, as you can see the hard plastic line there, uh, if you look around, you'll see a lot of videos and they recommend using that hard plastic line. You can get it from diesel performance shops. Um, some boat shops have them. Um, and then I joined it together with rubber, with high quality rubber hose instead of the cheap hose that they send it with. Um, it's quarter inch inside diameter. Any Napa Auto Parts has it. Um, and then what I did from there is I, I ran again um, the solid plastic hose off the top, but you can't see it. So... What I did is I used um, that quarter inch, that, that same quarter inch inside diameter hose, and I used it to protect the fuel line all the way through the gunnel. So the hard plastic runs through the um, runs through the rubber fuel line, and you can see it here going behind my throttle group. All right, down under here. Um, this is a, my kick plate uh, right in front of my driver's seat here. You can kind of see where it sits. I put a carbon monoxide detector in there so it's safe when I'm running the heater. Um, behind my little um, step here that goes out the front window is was one of the only places that I had to, to mount it. Um, and they can be mounted two ways. They can be mounted uh, straight up and down or 90 degrees to one side with the fuel line being on top. Um, I stuck mine sideways so that I can get the exhaust kind of where I wanted it. Um, I took the exhaust out and I ran it out my hull up here through the front window, uh, right up underneath the front window. That's my duct you can see. And then that black exhaust wrapped line goes back down behind the kick plate um, and goes down to the heater. And I'm gonna take that off here in a second and show you. Um, and as far as the through hull fitting, I ran it outside and it sits down here, right there. Um, it's as far over as I could get it. Um, with the underside of the of the boat and the, the amount of space I had. So if I go ahead and pull up this kick plate right here, you'll see the rest of my guts that I got for my heater going on. Um, there's the my, rest of my ducting, my wiring. Um, I wrapped the duct in some uh, insulation wrap to kind of keep the heat as it runs all the way up out the vent here under the dash. Um, I used a cheap vacuum cleaner um, uh, air filter to help quiet the intake down and keep anything from getting in it and keep it clean. Um, you can see again here, my rubber hose, it runs out and that's where it terminates my hard plastic. And then it goes right here into the, uh, into the heater. Um, to mount it, what I did is I took a piece of plate aluminum that I had um, from another project and I cross drilled it and then I mounted it to my side, my side strut right here, and then to another piece of aluminum that was out up, out up in the front of the bow so that it, I don't make any extra holes in the boat. Um, and that's pretty much all of it. I, 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 I screwed the control panel down right here on the dash so it's real easy to get to. Um, you'll notice it's very hard to read it um, in the sunlight, um, but that's just the, the price you pay, I guess, for buying something that's Chinese. Um, and the nice thing is with it, the way that installed the way that it is, it'll stay real, real quiet. So um, I'll turn it on right now. And even though my boat is a canvas top, 
once that thing starts, because of where I put the solenoid, um, you won't be able to hear it, and it'll stay it'll stay pretty quiet in there. The only thing you'll be able to hear is pretty much um, the flow of the air coming out in the exhaust. They take a few seconds to start up. You'll see it kind of going through its progressions on the screen as it applies fuel um, and starts the fan. You can start hearing the fan kind of going. If you listen real quietly. If you listen real quietly, you can hear the tapping of the fuel the fuel pump start. I'll take you back to it. So that's what it sounds like right next to it. One of the complaints is that those are very loud, um, which is one of the reasons I elected to stall it back there. But even with the canvas all the way open now, you can't really hear it. And as you can hear, the fan is blowing now. And it's getting ready to light off. And you'll know when it lights off because the exhaust will get it kind of a little bit louder. Uh, the first time I started this up, it took probably about four start and stop cycles where I had to completely remove power from the panel to purge all the air out of it uh, and get it going and then I let it run for a nice solid hour or so straight to get all of the packing oil and stuff that it comes with out of it. It smoked quite a bit. I just opened up all the top and, and just let it let it smoke like an old chimney and, and then it, it blew it all off and now, now it runs nice and clean. You can see there's nothing pouring out of there anymore. The kick plate's not all the way installed still, but as you can see, uh, sitting here, that's about all the noise it makes, and then most of that noise is the air coming right out of the vent right here, um, and it'll get pretty hot pretty fast. So I hope uh, this little instructional, sorry my finger's in the way, I hope this little kind of walkthrough shows you uh, a couple little things that help you out and helps you get your heater installed. Like I said, there's not a whole lot out there showing you where stuff is at. So I just wanted to walk everybody through what I did uh, to get it running good and that's it all right thanks for watching i uh, hope this helped you out